Welcome back to Skyblock 1 Block, everybody. Last episode, we got this little dude behind me. And I want to figure out how to, you know, get him back into a villager. But I also just really... Oh, we got another pottery shirt. Nice. Oh, and potatoes. Perfect. Because this is the other thing that I want to do today. I want to keep getting our farms going. And that means two different things. One, I want to finish filling out our, our mob island. And then I also want to extend this island a little bit. Now, one of the things we've had some issues with is we need more dirt. And dirt is not the most plentiful thing to come by in this world. But I realized that our moss will turn to podzil when planted under spruce trees. And you know what we can farm? Moss. Once we get some lava, we can make a stone generator and make a moss farm, and then we'll have fully renewable dirt, which is excellent news. How do, how do we go about this? I think let's finish the big circle first. That makes sense. Okay, one of the things we need to be careful about is not losing our grass, but I do believe that I actually saw um, a recipe in the crafting table for making a grass block. So maybe we'll check that out and then we can just stick a grass block in the middle. Alrighty, now we have two glass, the glass, two grass blocks. But that means that we can come right here into the middle and go, shadoop. Oh, I lost it, sad. And put a grass block there. And now we don't need to worry about spreading the, 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 I keep saying glass. That means we don't need to keep spreading the glass from over there to over here. That's gonna make this job easier. I learned recently that you can toggle sneak or you can set sneak to be toggleable. And that makes a huge difference in working on this project. Now this constant sneaking does have me wondering about finding like other biomes and things because obviously we can't exactly we don't exactly have swift sneak right now and as far as i know there's not necessarily a way to do that but it sure would be really helpful and i know that in like normal skyblock you get islands off in the distance that have different biomes and i wonder if one block has a similar mechanic because we did get a world border when we spawned in and it expanded as we completed each step so i don't know if you know we can't see the world border at this point i don't know if there's a way to maybe go out and explore and find other things that would be so cool all right our grass is spreading and our circle is built for the most part i think now we need to just salvage the dirt over here so what let's do for the moment is let's just build a very small little pen here. Hello, friends. Come with me. Do follow me this way. Hello. Excellent. You made it. Hi, guys. Hi, friends. Hello. Come with me, you little piggies. <laughs> Look at him go. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. And there they all are. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where did he... Where did he come from? Oh, I don't have lights out there. Okay. I want to go whack some mobs real quick. We've got two zombie villagers in here. Okay. I think, I think what we might need to do is we might need to make an island that just goes off the back here even so that we can just straight up put our, our zombie villagers right there. All right, we'll let that be for now. I'm not gonna lie, I was not planning to be building this many circles off of this island yet. All right, let's see how this goes. Ah, ow, ow. All right. Ow. All right. The sun is coming quickly that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in this. And we're going to just bring this dude out. 
Did we get one? We didn't even get one in the boat. Alrighty, we got him. I'm gonna die. It's fine. Oh, we've got to get him under here before the sun comes up and he catches fire. Come on, heal, 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 heal. We have two, and that's all we really need. Guys, I am shaking so bad after that ordeal, but we did it, we did it. We have two zombie villagers. Now all we need to do is find a way to cure them. Now, I do need some more uh, wood before I can get going on the next set of circles. So, I think it's time for just a little bit of farming and one blocking. Alrighty, so we're gonna need several different islands. And we'll start out with a little bit of water bucketing. Oh, oh, uh, that wasn't good. I started falling there. This is gonna be our dirt making circle so that we can have just moss over here but then also make it dirt by converting it to pods all over there. You know what I've realized is we do need another uh, circle for our villager circle and that crop circle might be encroaching on it. Okay, the good news is it doesn't overlap too much. The bad news is it does overlap and we do need to fix it. Oh, I just made another advancement called expansions. And it definitely didn't happen because I keep placing circles and then tearing them down. Another day, another circle situation. That's how it goes here on my one block series. While working on the villager circle. I realized I made a mistake over here too. And I think we gotta fix it. I've just been cursed by the circles. That's what it is. I have a circle curse. This series, it's not the cir it's not the mob curse, it's the circle curse. I mean, what did I expect, really? My mob spawner went just fine, because it's not a circle. This is, this is now canon. Alright, that's all officially fixed up now. Who wants to bet I'm going to spend most of my time on this series fixing my own ding-dang mistakes? Alright, let's do some one blocking and just see how things go. This is it, folks. This one... Should we hopefully pick it up? Yes. That's enough for another right item. Though I guess we still need the, you know, upgrade template. That is an issue. Oh. Hello. Do we have a friend around? Friend? Where where did Mr. Trader end up? I don't see him anywhere. I found our trader. Jeez. That's not the best place for you, Bub. Hello, sir. Let's see what you have and determine if oh he has calcite. He trades calcite for dirt. He trades bones for dirt though. Okay, we might be able to make this work. I need actual dripstone. Is that a thing we can do? All right, we're gonna trade some bones for as much dirt as possible, and then we'll get some some calcite with what we got from that. Oh no! Did he just kill himself? No, I needed the calcite, dude. I don't even dare look, you know? He has to be dead. There's no way he's not. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, that was terrible. What was that sound? <gasps> it's a witch! Okay. So the thing is, witches will sometimes throw weakness at you. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these seven. And two apples and some coal for smelting. All right, so here's the thing. I think witches will sometimes throw weakness potions at a player. So the way I've seen this done in Skyblock is that people will bring their witch over by their villagers and um, have them throw potions at her until the villagers get the weakness potion. So... Let's try. 
All right, two golden apples, some fences. We're gonna take the diamond pickaxe off of us. <gasps> no, she despawned. She despawned. Ugh, how terrible. All right, we're going to just store those there, I think. For, you know, the next time, I guess. I just realized that we definitely don't need to do this only four at a time. We can surround the entire base of the tree and it should give us mostly, mostly more podzel in those areas. I wanna do a quick little experiment because, and I didn't think of this before and I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I think that you can take water bottles, take a cauldron and go boom, boom, boom. And then you have another, another cauldron or another bucket of water worth. Okay, this is another way we can infinite source our water then. Fantastic. <gasps> no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> ah. No. No, we're not going to make it. No. I had nothing terribly important, but still, that's unfortunate. Oh, 43 levels. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb 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 and that was all of my oak not quite <gasps> that was all our dirt though oh no i had all our dirt on me that's the tragedy oh dear <laughs> i really tried didn't i we're gonna leave that stack there though and if we ever want to go like a lot lower well we can Alrighty then, I've spent a little bit more time one blocking and clearing my head and just getting my wits back about me. So let's get this spot. Well, I guess we're not going to quite get it finished still. But there is another spruce tree, so we can do that. Um, let's see, how did we do this last time? I felt so sad that I had wasted so much iron in the first episode on these. But... They're a good thing to have around after all. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I guess that's one way to find out you can get these dudes spawned in your cherry trees. But you have a lot of optimal spaces for that, I guess. And there we go. We've got a little carrot patch now. Excellent. How rude. You come into my house and steal my moss. Give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back. Oh, and I got an ender pearl out of that. I was happy to coexist peacefully with Mr. Enderman and then he started stealing my moss and that's just rude. Now, I think this side of things is what I want to work on next. Obviously not today, but maybe next episode. Because we need, we need to get ourselves a cobble generator in. And maybe even a moss farm if we have enough lava for that. Um, the thing, of course, is that we need lava in order to do that in the first place. Oh, we have another villager. Excellent. Trading dude. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, yes. He do a big sleep. Oh, and he has calcite with him, except you still have to trade for dirt and he doesn't have a dirt trade. Oh, Ooh, I don't have, I don't have much in the way of dirt, my dude. Um, well, we've got to get a little bit of calcite anyways. All right. It was like 21, 22 something dirt that he wanted for the calcite. Where did he go? Please tell me he didn't walk off the edge. Oh, hello. He's considering it. Okay, uh, wait. I have more, I have more, I promise. Okay. I really feel like I should do the whole bowl thing with 
with all of my crop circles. I like how that looks a lot better. I should not have my diamond pick on me. Have we not already learned this lesson? I'm going to pretend that as long as he's sleeping, he won't despawn and I'm going to do my darndest to run out there and get some more dirt. Hello, sir. Sorry to wake you from your slumber, but may I have more calcite? Thank you. Alrighty, that did it. Awesome. So now all our large circles are finished. All right, how much can we add to this area with the calcite that we have? Uh, quite a lot of it, apparently. Nice. You know what I still need is some melon seeds because I want to use melons and we still also need some bees so that we can use honeycomb in our color palette as well. So some of these blocks will be changed out, but I honestly didn't expect to uh, get to this point today. So I might as well take advantage of it, right? Now all we need to do is add a little bit of light to our front doors. It's a bit awkward of a stairway, but you can run up and down it just fine. So I think it does work. I think we'll leave that there. Yeah, and that makes this transition generally pretty smooth. Awesome. I mean, I could do it with, you know, normal stairs, but where would be the fun in that? I love a good slab staircase. Add a little bamboo, floating plant hanger thing, and our singular candle. That was a nice little progress surprise to end the day on. I love how this bottom layer is looking. It's so cute. Forgot Sneak was toggled again. But we've made good progress. We've got our crop circles, and we've got a reliable source by which to get dirt, which is a big deal. Not to mention the fact that, like, all of our big circles are complete now, and we're just building off of them at this point. And we've definitely got our course set out for us for the next few episodes. Maybe we had a couple of mishaps along the way, but all in all, I think we had a pretty good episode and got a lot of stuff just in good shape and ready to go. I'm so glad we got the villager with the calcite. This was such an unexpected little bonus, and I love it. We should really dye our bed some color. What have we got? We've got blue, just off the bat. We also have some pink petals, and that would give us, would that give us a purple? <gasps> ah! Oh, we're gonna sleep through that. Let's poke our head over to this area and see what flowers we get. We get some pretty flowers. Excellent. <gasps> there we go, a red one. That is perfect. That's exactly what we need. If we take some red dye and put it together with blue dye, we'll get purple, obviously. And if we put purple with pink, we'll get magenta, yes. And if you know me, you know I love magenta. And that's our bed color now. Well, with those final gorgeous little touches added, I think we have accomplished more than enough for this episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, please do give a like and consider subscribing and go watch the first two episodes if you missed them. I'll link the playlist in a little box right here. I'll see you all for the next one.